Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Digital Pouch Factory. This is Stefania speaking, the Digital Pouch Factory representative here. So um, I'm going to show you the last part of the process from Carville side, the lamination, the slitting, and the pouching. Okay. So, so. yes, I see we have the, the printed roll here. What, what are we going to do with it, uh, Stefania? Okay, well, let me show you <laughs> in that case. So let's start with the lamination of the roll. So follow me over here. So this is a printed roll that we made at the 25K, okay? So uh, we're going to laminate it right now in this thermal lamination. So just before starting, Carville has three types of lamination. They have a compact one, a standard one, and a combi one. The standards can be thermal and solventless, and the combi combines the two solutions. The one you are looking at right now is the thermal lamination. Quickly speaking, the better, the most important advantage of thermal lamination is no curing time. So when you laminate the roll, you just take it from here and you go straight to slitting and pouching. So you will have the first pouch after the printed roll in less than one hour. So let me show you the lamination, how it works. Okay. okay. So let's start from here. I see we have a bridge here. It's it's pretty pretty accessible for the operator. Yeah, for sure. This machine has very very friendly operator features. Okay, are, are you going to treat them right also? The yes. Wheels? The machine has two corona treaters. One for the film, which is printed, and one for the over lamination print. So, okay. So. As the speed goes, goes up, you can see that the dimensions of this machine, the unwinder of the printed roll is up to 800 millimeters. So we can cope perfectly with a 25K. So this is the unwinder number one. If I show you the unwinder number two, follow me over here on the other side of the machine, we can see that this unwinder with the same dimensions, like 800 millimeters diameter maximum, 800 millimeters diameter width okay. is where the thermal film is inserted. The thermal film has an adhesive layer, which is the responsible of being the interlocking with the HP indigo inks after a heating process. So after the lamination, we will get the perfect bond and we go straight to the slitting. So Martin, let me show you how, where is the Printed roll, which okay. is laminated. Finally, over here, this is the rewinder. So when you are laminating in this standard lamination machine from Carby, you have two options. Inline slitting on the rewinder, you can cut the half, the other roll in half, or trim off the edges right in line with the lamination. Or you can have more, more flexible, more features and possibilities having an offline off slitter, which is the process I'm gonna show you right now in a minute. So this roll over here is ready to go for a slitting. So let me show you, let's go straight to the, to the next process of the digital power factory. I have one question, Stefania. Yeah. I see that this is a matte finishing that you're doing. Do you have any more possibilities on, for example, gloss or, or any oh, other yes. finishing on the, on the lamination? Yes, for sure. We have different finishes here. The thermal films we use are from McKinley Novellus. They provide us with different types of finishing. And the one we are looking at right now, it's BOPP soft touch. We have pet gloss, we have the glossy finishing, we have matte finishes. So holographic, every time of over lamination films are provided by them. So this one is the soft touch you're gonna see in a minute. So, okay, yeah. thank you. Yeah, okay, no problem. So let's start. Let's stop this, this process and let's go to the next process, slitting. So as you can see, this is the compact uh, Carville machine slitter. I will show you quickly how it works. So I will start the machine so you can, you can see it from there. There is a security divide here, that's why we cannot uh, run across this area. 
as you can see right now, this leader has two rewinders. These rewind, rewinders are differential, okay? You can put and insert nine cores at the same time because this machine comes with 10 blades, okay? Maximum speed, 400 meters per minute, 400. So right now, just for demo purposes, I'm running at 100 meters per minute so you can see what's happening. So simple solution, compact, no waste at all and practical, okay? So after the slitting process, uh, we go straight to the pouch machine. Okay, okay? let's so, go. Yep. So basically what you're doing, you're laminating, then you're slitting the, the material, you're preparing the material to, to being on the, on the pouch machinery. Exactly, every okay. process we do, it's all comprised in a less than one hour time. Okay, lapse. Amazing. So okay. let's start the pouch machine and I show you quickly all the process. So perfect. Let's start from the back, which is where we load the roll. Follow me over here. So the roll that you just leaded, you're gonna you're gonna place it on this winder, huh? Exactly. So we take the roll from here and we load it. This is the unwinder. It's servo driven on the turning and the centering automatically knows how much material there is, diameter and everything. So splicing table, web guide control, dancer control for speed motion. So all these features are making the process smooth low waste and quick. So let me show you the rest of the machine. So you can get at least the idea of the whole process. As you can see, this machine works with one web. Carville has different types of machine. You can work with three web, three synchronized. You can insert the gasset with one web as well. So as you can see here, folding one web, I'm going into the dancer, the first, the second dancer unit, okay? So to even the speed of the roll. So after that, we have the gasset, the gasset insertion, the gasset unit where you can, you can modify dimensions of the gasset. We are doing a stand-up pouch right now, okay? With zipper and bottom gasset like this. So this is the gasset unit. The zipper insertion area, you can see the unwinder over there. And after that, we go to the longitudinal where the bottom and the zipper are sealed at the same time. You have different sealing blades, sealing bars you can use. And after, right afterwards, we go to the ultrasonic station. The ultrasonic station prevents the film from damaging and the ink from this coloring on the edges of the zipper. This is the most important part of the machine right now. So right after the ultrasonic, it starts the cross sealing station, okay? Where you seal out the both sides of the pouch and front of the machine, register for pouch width over here, trimming, you can trim the top, you can trim the bottom at the same time wish if you wish and the punches when i talk about punches you can use different kind of pouches you have a tear notch like i have over here okay like this one so you have rounded corners you have turn holes you have there's different many different types of pouches that you can order when you get your cargo so this machine is completely modular you just order what you need and it's going to be for you so Let's go to the, five, the most important part, the speed. So this machine goes up to 150 cycles per minute. So 150 depending for sure of the material. Right now we are going around 80 cycles per minute as you can see. So this is the end-to-end -end solution where we get the pouches ready to be packed and ready to be delivered to your customer. So I have one last question, Stefania. I know we are, we are getting better, but uh, since we start printing until the first pouch finished, uh, how much time is it taking us roughly? 
Oh, well, from printed to this first wood pouch. Yeah. 50 minutes, one hour at right. almost. So I'm that's pretty good. awesome, right? <laughs> yeah. So. Wow. Thank you very much, Stefania. It was a okay. great explanation and honestly impressive and amazing. Thank uh -huh. you very much. Thank you, guys.